Renew your Microsoft certifications for free. Absolutely. Microsoft changed the rules of the game. I'm going to tell you all about it coming up in this critical update. Hello, everybody. My name is Adam Gordon, Netch Tainer here at IT Pro TV, back with another critical update for you, giving you all the latest information you need to stay successful as you pursue IT certifications. Microsoft is changing the nature of recertification. This is big, big news. You're going to have to recertify on an annual rolling basis. All their certifications are now going to expire one year from the time they're issued, but you're going to be able to recertify not only using a brand new initiative, skill-based assessment, but you're going to be able to do that for free. This is really, really cool stuff, especially if you hold one of the certifications covered by the new program. So let's take a look quickly at some of the details. You can obviously follow up with the documentation directly for the minutia, because there is going to be a lot of detail that you have to manage here. But the gist of it is basically this. All of the role-based and specialty certifications are covered by this new process, meaning that all the middle-tier Microsoft certifications, you're going to be issued a certification. It's going to be good for one year going forward, and then six months from the expiration date, meaning six months into that cycle, you're going to get an email from Microsoft inviting you to start the renewal process. You'll be able to follow the links in the email go and take one of the skill-based assessments that will be available online for you. It's free, you just have to follow the steps in order to qualify, set it up and go through it. You could take it as often as you need over six months until you actually pass it. So no limit on the retakes, doesn't cost you anything. And if you take it more than once, you could take it immediately again the second time. And then after that, you just have to wait 24 hours between retakes. So plenty of flexibility there. We like that a lot. Once you get through the skill-based assessment, that certification is automatically renewed for an additional year. You simply continue rinsing and repeating as you go throughout the recertification and certification life cycle as long as you want to. If you let that certification actually lapse, meaning you don't renew based on this new process, but rather just let it expire for whatever reason, the only option at that point will be that you have to actually sit for the most recent version of that exam. And you're going to have to pay a little bit of money to do that. but. Hopefully that won't be a problem because you'll take advantage of this great new offer and make sure that you renew using skill-based assessments. I want to point out a couple of those details here on the page quickly. I want to show you the schedule for the release of those skill-based assessments and invite you to follow up with additional detail at the bottom, reading the FAQ, the Frequently Asked Questions section, to make sure you get all the most up-to-date information. All right, so let's just jump in here quickly and take a look at one or two things. I do want to zoom in right up the top here. Let me just bring that over so you can see it. Microsoft's saying that roughly six months after the initial release of these role-based and specialty certifications, once they've been in market, people have taken these exams for at least six months, we'll begin to see those assessments coming out for new exams going forward. There are going to be assessments released for all the exams that are currently in market. I'll show you that schedule in just a minute. And when you're able and eligible to recertify, as I suggested, tied to your Microsoft certification ID, which which means your certification profile at Microsoft Learning on the certification dashboard that you're familiar with if you're a current Microsoft certification holder, you'll be able to use those profile information elements, the email specifically. Microsoft's going to use those to notify you. So you're going to be invited to go in and make sure those are up to date and take advantage of that to make sure you can use this new process seamlessly. You're not going to have any issues. And the first release or round of these certification assessments are going to come out roughly around February of 2021. We're going to see primarily primarily the focus on the Azure and Microsoft 365 platforms. There will be a couple of other areas, Dynamics, for instance, a little bit on the IoT developer and the SAP workload area in terms of specialties, but primarily on the Azure and the Microsoft 365 platform. Following up in March, Microsoft is telling us that we're expecting to see some of the deeper dive certification focal areas in terms of assessments. Things like AI, data analysis, data engineering, and data analytics will come online. And then, of course, they'll be added to over time as new and updated certifications launch. So please keep that in mind as you look at this and try to plan your recertification accordingly. Microsoft does lay out the how to renew steps right here. Very simple, clean, easy to follow. And as I mentioned, 
there has been an update to the changes to certification expiration policy based on the life cycle of those certifications. The announcement details going from two years down to one and then a six month rolling recertification period within that one year are all listed right here. You can follow the links and get all that information. And finally, I would encourage you to read the FAQ section here, get all the details together, make sure you understand the do's and don'ts, and that way you can be successful as you look to maintain your certifications and look to do that through the new recertification process. I look forward to being able to bring you more critical updates as we have a need to, but until then, I'm gonna wish you good luck certifying and recertifying, and I'll see you soon.